system malfunction. This time, two Rigel-class transports crash in midair. A massive central computer failure caused a crash and forced badly needed supplies to be diverted away from Mars Colony 1. On Earth, CPB officers are responding to dozens of calls as rogue androids were left without commands from the IPC central computer. Programmers are at a loss to explain this and other recent failures. Unit 14, investigate report of rogue android. Unit 1270, reset. Acknowledged. CPP, hurry! This way! What the? Take... room they stand in the shadows when they they blindfolded me it's all right it was some sort of kidnapping the fact that he didn't see their face will probably keep us both alive this is one of those abandoned civil defense shelters thousands of feet underground has professional job written all over it. The scene has been swept then clean. Then expand of... the parameters of your search protocol, woman. Keep looking. 
He says he saw two cops at Match Human 5 enter the alley. Says he never saw them come out. Find someone who did. I didn't call the assessors. One of our listening posts picked up a vehicle's call signature. Human Farber, my men, my responsibility. Every vehicle in this city is connected to central traffic control by a unique frequency. Our listening post picked up the call signature from the only vehicle in this area when Human Farber grabbed. The vehicle's route and current location. They may be your men, but they're just as important to me. Tell me about yourself. I work in the programming department of the Interplanetary Council. Do they know that? I'm a code writer for the central mainframe. I think that's why they kidnapped me. See, I'm an investigator with the CPB. I know. I looked at your ID when you were still unconscious. I was afraid to tell you everything. They think I sabotaged Daedalus, the IPC central mainframe. Did you? I found a back door to get me access to the route, but only to find out why it was malfunctioning. My job was to fix it, not to sabotage it. It's a total mess in there. The original AI node is prehistoric. It predates Y2K. Well, that explains all the malfunctions, the transport accidents. I didn't find anything secret, but they kept asking me about this machine intelligence they're looking for. Hold on. I hear them. Let him go. You should learn when to stay down, detective. I do apologize for the means necessary to bring you here, detective. My name is Jonas Brack. I'm chief of Section 2 Interplanetary Council Assessors Division. You're a cop. Let me guess. I'm not going to get my one phone call. The Assessors Division is not required to allow you representation during a sanctioned inquiry. This ain't no sanction inquiry. No. No, it's not. Where's my partner? He's being well taken care of, Detective. In a while, I'll take you to him. What about the girl? Why is she involved in all this? <laughs> she, Detective, happens to be one of the most gifted hackers that Section 2 has ever come across. She also happens to be our enemy in a war. A war whose outcome is very much in doubt and where the stakes are much higher than you know. What the hell are you talking about? I am talking about a war between humans and machines, detective. It's silent, it's deadly, and only one of us can win. And the bad news is Old homo sapiens aren't doing so good right now. In fact, if things keep going the way they are, being upright isn't going to mean what it used to much longer. Mankind's position as Earth's dominant species will be a mere footnote in some computer's database. Would you care for some water? Well then. Just how well do you know your partner, detective? What if I told you that Favre was also the enemy? 
that he was the first wave of a new generation of intelligent machines. Machines with the agenda to undermine and control our human will and to replace it with machine intelligence within 20 years. I'd say you're out of your mind. You would be underestimating me. Yeah. Well, if Varv's so dangerous, why did the assessor's office pair us up in the first place, huh? What I'm going to tell you, Detective, few people outside the assessors know. The order for Favre's transfer was never issued by a human hand. It arrived via the computer already signed. It came from inside Special Ops and it should have been questioned. But the assessor's division, because it's responsible for internal security, for spying, is so twisted, so Byzantine. The director never questioned the order because he couldn't afford to admit that he was out of the loop. Do you understand what I'm saying, Hume? No one knows who sent it. I can't believe an android like Favre, he just shows up and no one in the assessor's office knows where he came from. <laughs> Our world allows for so many possibilities. One is that the computer itself signed the orders. Doesn't answer my question. Why are you at this desk? We can talk about this here. We can talk about this. What's there to talk about? Farber's your new partner, temporarily. I've heard good things about you. That's supposed to explain what he's doing in Blanchard's desk less than 24 hours after Blanchard's been killed. What department did they transfer you from? It was a special ops unit. Special ops is a division of the assessor's office. I know what you're thinking. If I were in your position, I would be thinking the same thing. You were sent to watch over me. No, absolutely not. That's insane. I agree. But it has the assessors paralyzed. So, I've taken matters into my own hands. Someone had to. Son of a... You want to talk to me, you talk to me, all right? Leave her out of it. Your situation is not the same as hers. <laughs> Sila is a man. You ever heard of them? They meet in the ring. It's a pro-machine chat site on Cornet. We have transcripts of some of their online meetings. They give and exchange information, download files, share programming. They are talking to someone who we cannot match with the address of any human. We think that it might be Favre. He saved my life. Yes, he saved your life. But he never told you up front he was an alpha android, did he? How'd you do that? Rabbit cell regeneration. It's the first time I see it inside of a laboratory. Rabbit cell what? What is that? Your friend is no ordinary human, are you? Talk to me. He is a flesh and plasma based android, aren't you? Talk to me. I'm an Alpha One David, prototype model. I've been partnered with an android. Neither did anyone in your office. <laughs> your loyalty is a quality to be admired, Detective. I've heard about it. But machines can't choose to be loyal. 
They can only follow their programming. Humans, however, do have that choice. I need to know where Favre gets his orders from. He gets his orders from Arenthal, just like I do. It's too bad, detective. I was hoping for your cooperation. Synthetic nanotoxin. Let's get him ready. What the hell happened to that signal you were tracking? There was a transient anomaly in the assessor's net. The vehicle signal was not properly recorded. Two of my best detectives get kidnapped by men using black ops tactics, and you tell me sorry there's been a technical glitch? Uh-uh. Unless you can convince me that this isn't just some more assessor crap, I'm going down to the IPC and bring down a world of trouble on all of your heads. This may have something to do with Favre. Two weeks ago, Jonas Brack, the man in charge of our Section 2, disappeared without a trace. Though the assessor's office would never admit to it, Brack's focus has been the hunt for the maker of the Alpha. We thought Brack had been killed. But he may be behind the disappearance of human Favre. The false signal may have been an intentional misdirection by him to throw us off track. Why should I trust you? You put Favre here. We've reason to believe Brack is acting on his own. That's all I can tell you now. But if the rumor is true, and Brack has them. If anything happens, anything, I'm holding you personally responsible. Tell me, detective, what do you really know about Favre? Hmm? I mean, you trust him instinctively because you're a trusting person. But he is just a mirror. He's reflecting back your best attributes. You would never have such feelings for a normal android, you wouldn't allow yourself to. No! Another stinking android. You have a problem with androids? Yeah. Ones that are programmed to kill. I trust him because he's earned my trust. Ah, yes. Yes, because he is your friend. Hmm? He's your partner. You knew he wasn't telling you the truth about not being able to contact his maker when he was infected by the technician's virus. All right, last one. I believe some of this is being controlled or at least monitored from an external source. There's a large bandwidth data link from which Favre seems to send and receive information externally. The sooner we proceed, Dr. Chang. All right, this is gonna shut down his system, delete it, then restore the stored system. It should be the same Favre as before, minus about 12 hours of memory.
Barb, can you hear me? Come on, man, I know you're in there. Hold on. Thank you. David, it's good to see you again. Barb, your systems, do they all check out normally? Yes, check and recheck. System integrity is at 100%. Thank you. Can you all give us a minute? I'd like to talk to Favre on my own. David, is something the matter? Owen said something about a data link. A way for you to communicate with and be monitored by a, an outside source. Yes, David, there is such a link. I want you to tell me who that source is. That is complicated. I am not certain. Complicated it's no good, Farf. You say I got a problem. You're supposed to be my partner. But there's just too much stuff I don't know about you. The kind of stuff a partner's got to know where he can't trust the other guy. Without that trust, there is no partnership. Do you understand? Even when you put it on the line, even then, Favre didn't reveal very much about his origin, did he? No, no. He had something else in mind. You were the lead investigator on the Belisarius murders when workers at Endol Ring Chemical were killed. Favre didn't make a brilliant deduction, detective. He knew it all along. We have proof that he examined the computer files at the beginning of your investigation, but he withheld the information from you because he was educating you, showing you how good and moral and ethical androids really are. Belisarius has a lot of unhappy people behind him, heart and soul. We may see a half a dozen levels burned out before this thing is over if we don't handle it right. Androids are not subject to irrational outbursts of destructive rage when faced with equivalent injustice. Under the circumstances, we should consider ourselves fortunate. been educating you all along, setting a consistent pattern, turning you into an android lover. Androids killed Blanchard. your partner and now you're defending Varv since the episode this morning with Dr. Latham you've been treating me with a measure of suspicion David well, it's not that I'm doubting you it's nothing personal I understand you believe there is something in the structure of an alpha androids personality that makes it fundamentally untrustworthy look it's obvious Latham knows more about how you were made than even you do he turns out to be your creator, and that just it makes me feel uneasy. David, Dr. Latham is a specialist in living tissue memory systems. Very important to my design. But everything he told me leads me to believe that he's just one of a large number of contributors, not my overall designer. He's my partner. I owe him. I owe him. Dave. David. So you used Varv as bait. It wasn't as cold-blooded as that. David. He's not human! He's a high-priced piece of machinery. I used him to do my job. Do you think Alphas have a better shot at an afterlife than Del Deltas? Yeah, it matters. He matters. 
he found on that harbor barge. Why? What do you got? He never entered it into evidence. You never reported it either. Why? You and Favre let Dr. Latham, the man who designed his memory system, go scot-free. These aren't just random acts. What is he hiding from his human masters, huh? What are you hiding? But from the scraps of information I gathered for my own purposes, from the brief experience I had here, I can tell you that whoever made you was not necessarily human. Not human? I believe it was a machine consciousness who conceived and ultimately manufactured you. I guess. A machine yearning to be human. You're taking these little fragments and you're twisting them into your version of the truth. It's not what I see. No? Then let me ask you this. This data leak of Favre's, do you have any idea where it goes? How does it feel to be partnered with a walking tape deck detective? To have your each and every move recorded, transmitted, analyzed. Only the real test subject is not Favre. You are. You see, the machines are analyzing you, not Favre. They are analyzing your behavior to better know their enemy. Their human enemy. You're their Trojan horse detective. And the battle is for world domination. You got no proof. You got a lot of paranoid theories, that's all you got. If you had proof, you wouldn't have kidnapped us. You want proof? Yeah, I want proof. You were told that Favre's data link is controlled from the outside and not by him. That's a lie. Favre controls it. He has all along. Let me show you who your partner really is. been trying to escape. What is all this stuff? Watch. Our field generator stops any transmissions going in or out. barb has been sending signals since we captured him. He's been sending them 20 times an hour. Ask yourself, who's he sending to? Help me, Hume. Make the right choice, or you all wind up dead. Thank you.
can hurt a little bit. So tell me about this group. Tell me about the the mechs. Every once in a while, I'd log into the ring. But I only logged on to try and find some answers before more people die because the mainframe wasn't working right. I got my back door by downloading a patch I found in the ring. From who? I don't know. There were clues along the way. I was careful and up to a point it worked. But I couldn't fix that unless someone had been there before me. Brack thinks the machine intelligence controls the ring. That explains why the assessors showed up before I could log off. They'd obviously been watching me for quite a while. Hits are way up. Time for another trank, Android. Problems? We're both out of time. Meaning you must declare your allegiance in one way or the other. Or what? As long as anyone can remember. The IPC central computer, Daedalus, ran the world. Transport, resource management, legal, legislative, policing. It handled all macro decision making. And then there was a blip, a hiccup almost too small to remember. It appeared at first that bad bits of code had found their way into Daedalus. But then after an extensive investigation, it was found that someone Someone might have broken into the computer. But they didn't know who. They didn't know how. I think it was Favre's maker. And I need to find it and destroy it before it does any further damage to Daedalus. Before one more man, woman, or child loses their life to a damn machine. short-circuit my operating system. So far, they have only succeeded in giving me an excruciating headache. Are you all right, Dave? Never been better. What are they doing to him? Can you stop it? Fuck's right. They're either trying to put him out of commission or destroy him. You going to listen to her? He's doing it himself. Okay? Yeah. No, we 
You're trapped all over again. Uh, we still got a way out. The door will not hold them forever, David. You're welcome. Thank you. But I was not worried. Just now I had them right where I wanted them. Really? Yes. I was able to get by their jamming field long enough to send a message to my maker via my internal data link. The maker? I also received a message containing the plans of the facility and the best means of escape. How do we know this tip you got is any better than the last one? It came from an unimpeachable source. David, there is an elevator at the end of this corridor. It leads to the surface. Good. You get on it, you go to the top, right? You signal for help. Where do you go? I got a score to settle. I do not think that is wise. But I'll be safer with you, won't I? You'll be fine. Go ahead. But I can't leave without you. After all you've done for me, it wouldn't be right or fair or... Or possible. given that you're working for the assessor's office. Stay where you are. Don't move, and or I'll kill him. You won't shoot me. How can you be so sure? Because you're a cop. Terminated. David, how did you know? I guess it was just an instinct. You know that thing you're gonna be working on? Oh yes, your gut instincts again. But tell me, why bring her along if there was a chance that she might disable one of us or slow us down? I figured Brack would be more inclined to let us go. He thought he could use her to follow us to your maker. Farve told us what happened. You all right? You can have my report in the morning. I'm not Brack, Detective. We're on the same side. Count on it. For what it's worth. 
The signal that got us here to rescue you came from the same source that placed far with you. Just thought you'd want to know. that made me put us together for a reason. And that reason may be more important than either of us know or understand. When I get back to the station, I'm putting in for a transfer. I see. The things that Brack said. I don't know what's true anymore. The not knowing is wearing me out, man. So unless you got the answers... I don't. But sometimes you have to follow the path that's laid out and hope for the best. That's not good enough for me. You're right, David. I don't have the answers. And right now... For the first time, that's scaring the hell out of me. But all I do know is, when I get to the end of my path, I hope that you are there with me. Mm-hmm. 